tonight on PNN 5 at 5. New leads in the Orange County prison break, airlines offering refunds to travelers fearing the Zika virus, and a look ahead at our weather for this weekend. Pirate News Network 5 at 5 begins now. From the School of Communication studio at East Carolina University, this is Pirate News Network. Hi, I'm James Ferraro. Welcome to Pirate News Network. In Orange County, California, police arrested five people in connection with the escape of three inmates. The three men charged with violent crimes broke out while awaiting trial last Friday. Orange County Sheriff Sandra Hutchins described how her team is going to continue their investigation. We are going, uh, continuing to focus on a Vietnamese gang that is active in Westminster and Garden Grove. Uh, and we have now made a number of arrests. Uh, however, further details are not available uh, as the investigation is ongoing. Hutchins also said that there are more than 250 local and federal law enforcement active on this case. Airlines now offer refunds to people who broke who booked flights to the growing list of countries affected by the Zika virus. Extra precautions are being taken when it comes to pregnant women who are warned the virus could cause birth defects. Samuel Burke has the details. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control has made it very clear to pregnant women, think twice before you travel to areas stricken by the Zika virus. The CDC has issued alerts for more than 25 countries, including Mexico, Caribbean nations, nine countries in South America, and four in Central America. And now the travel industry is making it easier for pregnant women to reschedule trips to affected areas. Some airlines are offering pregnant women full refunds if they have a doctor's note. If they're already on a trip, some airlines are allowing women to come back early. And certain airlines are allowing expectant mothers' travel companions to reschedule their itineraries as well. So far, just American, British Airways, United, LAN, based in Chile, and TAM, based in Brazil, have announced Zika-related changes. That list will likely grow, so it's best for travelers to get in touch with their airlines. Experts say these early moves by the travel industry are key. Even until we get that scientific data, the safest thing to do is if you're a pregnant woman to avoid traveling to those countries. Travel bans, we know generally in public health, they can do more damage than good. The best thing to do is to get that information out there and let people make really informed, safe decisions. And it's not just airlines changing policy. Norwegian and Carnival Cruise Lines also say they'll now allow pregnant women to reschedule travel. I'm Samuel Burke in New York. Back to you. Thank you, Samuel. Alabama authorities say that two people from southwest Missouri may be responsible for a series of disturbing crimes committed in central Alabama. Cynthia Gould reports. Workers at the McDonald's where the two suspects are accused of trying to carjack a woman still can't believe how it all unfolded Sunday. You know, we've all been pretty shaken up from it. Um, I've definitely been watching my surroundings yesterday and today. But we're just very thankful that she's still alive because, you know, she's part of our family. Count's co-worker was getting out of her car when she says she was approached and threatened. Fortunately, no shots were fired. There's always the risk that this could escalate and somebody could get hurt. Right now, they do not seem inclined to want to hurt anybody. That's great. But they're still committing major felonies. Lieutenant York says their top priority is catching this pair. Both are from Missouri and do not appear to have ties to Alabama. They're in a relationship. We know that through Facebook. Um, as to who the brains of the operation is, I'm not sure there is one. Blake Fitzgerald has a long criminal history, including assault and domestic violence. Brittany Harper, only a traffic violation. This is high on our priority list, not to the complete exclusion of everything else we're doing, but when somebody enters an occupied dwelling, and kidnaps one of our citizens, that goes right to the top of the list. The Vestavia woman who was kidnapped was let go out on 280. A man who was abducted in Tuscaloosa was found by a passerby on 31. This mother is thankful her son was in the right place to help out. Thank God that he was there and that the timing worked out and that probably that was the first moment of peace that young man probably had was sitting in Connor's car. Police say they want to remind the public to lock the door leading from the garage into a home, which can be a weak spot. Now let's take a look at the weather. What do you have for us, Logan? Well, we had a bit of a wet day today. Our high was 59. Temperatures should reach 37 tonight, which will still feel warm after the leftover humidity. 
Our weekend temperatures will be around the mid-40s and stay that way through Monday. Sunday has a slight chance of rain in the afternoon, but next week we'll start out cloudy but clear up as temperatures decrease to 38 on Wednesday and 37 on Thursday. That's it for the weather. Back to you, James. Thank you. Well, Puxatawney Phil made his prediction Tuesday morning telling the country to pre prepare for warmer weather. There is no shadow to be cast. An early spring is my forecast. The groundhog emerged from a mock tree stump in western Pennsylvania to determine whether we had six more weeks of winter or not. His handlers told a crowd of thousands there will be early spring-like weather this year and were greeted with cheers. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration pegs Phil's accuracy at about 45%. That's it for the PNN 5 at 5. See you guys next time.